So which of these is most important? Is one more important than the others, or is one le less important than the others? You might have your personal views, but the reality is you should have these in some degree of balance if you want to offer a full and meaningful opportunity for employees. And they say, why do I need this kind of plan? I say, well, do your competitors have it? No. Okay, think about that a little bit. Do you compete with them for talent? If you can say, here's their pay package, here's our pay package, on the surface they look the same, until I tell you about our long-term plan, because I've described our goals to you, you've indicated you think you can help us achieve those goals, in your pay package, you make a half a million dollars if we do. Hmm. So the attraction retention element is important. Okay, good. There's three reasons I like to say it. That's one of them. We're creating a common goal. We're creating alignment. We're in the same boat. Uh, for me to get to the 100 million, I know I'm going to need your involvement and commitment. And by sharing it with you, I would expect a higher level of commitment to the achievement of the goal, so I'm going to get better alignment. If you're my management team, and I say, come on, help me grow from 30 million to 100 million so that I can make a lot of money. I don't say that part, but that's implied, isn't it? <laughs> I'm going to sell the company someday or whatever. You know it. I know it, whether I say it or not. If I don't say it, you're thinking it. So come on, help me make it. Come on, help me make a lot of money. <laughs> it's, it's just not right, because I can't do it without you. You created some of that value. It's the right thing to do. So note, these aren't specifically pay questions. These go, do these go more to the structure side or the mindset side? It's the mindset, because I'm really going to sense from this is whether they believe it. Are we going to accomplish those goals, and is it meaningful to me? Meaning, that's what they really want. They want to belong to an organization where they feel they have a contribution to make, and that when they make that contribution has meaning in people's lives. And they see the organization as people, and the customers as people and the vendors as people, and they want to influence all those constituents in the most positive, constructive way possible. The package we have for you is a $1.8 million package, assuming we achieve our results, our plan over the next five years. If we fall if at 80%, here's what it is. If it's 120%, here's what it is. Here's the range of what we expect to share with you in terms of value over the next five years. It changes the discussion. It changes the perspective they have of you as an organization. When we create the right structure and the right mindset, that's when we have a unified vision for growing the business. We need to communicate that future. What will it look like? What will we be doing differently or the same? And the CEO and his or her representatives need to communicate strongly. Help us create good profits, financial value. We have a specific proven way of sharing some of that value with you. Now the employee can say, I see what business results you emphasize. I understand how you share that value, and that's meaningful to me, and I see how I can contribute. We create a stronger bond between leadership and the employees. We create partnership when the employee says, I realize, realize that amidst all else, if I don't help you achieve your goals, I shouldn't expect you to ach help achieve mine. <coughs> and the employee can then say, I realize I'm more likely to achieve my goals if I help you achieve yours. We've created a link. <coughs> The mindset then becomes a partnership mindset rather than a whatever, I show up to the job, I get my paycheck. Or worse, you know, the entitlement mindset. How come I didn't get a raise? How come I didn't get a bigger bonus? Last one I'll share. We want to communicate these are the things that are most important to our business success, and we know we can't achieve them without you. And the employee can then say, I get that. I see how my job uh, relates. I see a future here. And I feel responsible for achieving those results. Working towards this type of a relationship takes effort and time, but boy, is it worth it. It's a meaningful and serious change that occurs within an organization when they achieve that level of engagement, commitment, and enthusiasm amongst their employees. So that's a few ideas on how to create good incentive plans and communicate them well. I hope that's been helpful and interesting to you. Mm -hmm.